How's it guys? So it's halfway through the 21 day lockdown here in South Africa and I just want to give you an update of how things have been going here and what we've been up to. So I'll show you a bit of footage of what the shops looks like, what the roads look like. I just want to give you an update of what it looks like at the shops, if everything is still in stock and how busy it still is. As you can see behind me the parking lot there is still quite a bit of cars in the parking lot but also remember that a lot of these cars are for people who are actually working in these shops and then the rest are people doing their shopping so things are definitely quieting down people are definitely going out less and less but there is still people out doing their shopping so i'll show you what the shops look like From a vegetable standpoint, there is still plenty of vegetables around. Fresh fruit, definitely lots available. Yeah, okay. Right, so that was just a quick shop again to get things going. Everything is still stocked and fully available on the essential items. This is what the parking lot looks like. I've been traveling to and from work every second day or so, so I'll give you an idea of what the roads looks like. Yes, the shops um, are open and it's not that busy. Uh, people seem to be respecting mostly, respecting your um, social distancing. And for the most part, it, it seems to be okay. Uh, with regards to what's happening in the news, yes, we've got a lot of news feedback that some of the guys are in certain areas are not adhering to the rules and are still taking chances and are still going out. And unfortunately those people are putting themselves at risk but even more so putting their families and the rest of the people that live in those areas at risk so it's yes it's quite a serious situation but our um, law enforcement is dealing with them and mostly in a decent manner there has been some reports of the odd incident where things didn't go quite according to the rules but i think in any um, situation or any country there is a bit of people that go overboard but for the most part I think we are adhering to the rules of the lockdown and I think that is key part going forward. In terms of what we up to, well we've been doing a lot of cooking and baking. And we've tried to get into a bit of an exercise regime but being at home for this 21 days and not um, being as active as what I should be we've, just, we've started doing some exercises in the afternoon So as you can see, I'm a bit unfit, just a bit, 
But hopefully this next 21 days will change this. If we can keep up with this redeem regime. Bit of exercise every day. In the times that I do have a bit of spare time, I've been trying to create a vegetable patch for my wife so she can start growing vegetables. So we have started a vegetable patch. It's a raised bed that we're just filling up with sand now. It's just some corrugated iron that I've made a structure with and we filled it up with some nice uh, soil that we will then plant some veggies in. So hopefully in a few months time we'll have some veg. So, but we will take you along the ride of what, how the vegetable garden comes along. And then we've been going out clapping for our health workers, making a bit of noise outside at night, seven o'clock for our health workers. I've got a drum, my wife's got a gong, and we're just making a bit of noise to show our appreciation for the health workers out there. <laughs> noise for the health workers making noise for the frontline workers right guys we're gonna leave the video there I want to leave you with this last thought so please guys for you that are under lockdown or where the countries that are affected by COVID-19 stick to the rules please stay home you are flattening the curve and it's helping everybody's national health services Every country has got a problem, no matter how strong your health services is, this disease is just growing so quick and so fast that it's overpowering the best of the best in the world. So the best we can do is stay at home and stay safe. Anyway guys, if you like this video, give us a like, give us a subscribe, ring that bell, and then we'll see you in the next one. Remember guys, keep safe and keep washing your hands. See you in the next one.